Hello everyone, I'm back again with another video. I'm going to do a test on the Mavic Mini battery that I had an issue with the other day and had to land out in the field. Today we're just going to stress it out, full sport mode, the entire battery until I either get an error or prove that it's okay. Because the hover test, it kind of showed that, that it was okay. So I'm just going to fly fast and hard. I'll record it and give you pieces of it and do a screen recording. Um, I'm not going to do these today, but I did order for, on a slow boat from China some aftermarket props. I know what everybody will say, don't use aftermarket props or only use Master Air Screw, which of course they don't make for the Mini yet. But I just bought these to give them a look and I'll show them in a later video. And they look pretty cool anyway. So that's it. We'll get this video going. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. All right, guys, here's my synopsis on the battery situation. I beat that thing full sport mode the whole time. Did some sharp turning, ups, downs. Um, never took my thumb off that right stick. Maybe once at the beginning, and then it was full on the whole time. I think when it gets into the lower voltage range, just from discharge from flying, and you keep pushing it to its max, it does give you that battery cell warning, as you saw, you'll, you saw in the video. 
when the cells get to a certain point and you're pulling on them, they get to a critical level, which I think is around like 3.1 volts per cell. And then when you let off the power, they jump back up all the way to like 3.6. Um, a lot of FPV guys see that when they're flying. When you're giving it the beans, it draws a lot of juice down. So, yeah, it's it's obvious they can't take any pushing once they're down to a certain percentage of, and I don't know what that magic number is. I, mean, I was under 30% um, when I was doing that, and that's when I got that battery cell voltage warning. So hopefully that clears something up. Looks like there's nothing wrong with my batteries. They were just being pushed too hard. So that's a, that's a good thing that the batteries aren't faulty. It's just, we got to know our limitations on this little guy. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Smash the like button and subscribe if you liked it. Thanks much for watching.